What is up guys? It's Megan and today with my sassy bun there we are talking about what I got at Walt Disney World on my latest trip. So if you guys like Walt Disney World, if you like Disney, anything Disney, Disney pins, Disney, like you name it, I talk about it here on this channel. So please consider subscribing to my channel and let's just talk about more Disney. Hello everybody! Welcome to Mickey's Magic, and here's your host, Megan! with some smaller things and then we'll get into the big items at the end because I have some of the smaller items in the big items so <laughs> I'm just gonna work through this so I'm just gonna start off with some of the pins that I traded for I only traded for like three or four pins and I don't even know where one of them is because I then realized that it was a fake pin so I just sort of like put it down and I think we stopped caring about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Disney pin. Um, but we got a couple Donald pins, so they're kind of cool. That's the first one we traded for. I know he comes in a booster set. I think he was a mystery pin. Uh, I like to go for the mystery pins. I don't know how you guys feel about going for mystery pins. I think it's really exciting. I really like when cast members ask you about trivia. And um, here is another Donald pin that we got. It does say on the back that it's from Shanghai Disney Resort, so that's pretty cool. I don't have too many pins from Shanghai Disneyland. The final pin is Miss Daisy. She's really cute. I love these pins so much. They are so darn adorable. Getting into the next surprise, I'm going, you guys don't see it, but I'm like opening something inside of something. So this next one is actually a gift. I've already given it to her, so it's okay. But this is actually for my mom. Her birthday passed, so she's already seen it. I'm just gonna put this in the video to show you guys that it was available at the outlet. We did take a quick pit stop at the outlet. It was the busiest that I had ever seen it. It was on Labor Day. And it is this Evil Queen purse ornament. It's so sparkly. It's so pretty. I love it. And I think I make this joke all the time, but like the evil queen reminds me of my mom, but in like the best possible way. Cause my mom would always dress up as the evil queen for Halloween, whenever we were little kids. And then even has a little apple down there. But normally I think it's like a $25 ornament, which is like crazy. But I think it was $5.99 at the outlet. So, I felt like it was really worth it. It reminds me of my mom, and I know that she will use it, so I love it. And I also got another uh, ornament that I will leave a picture here because I know exactly what it looks like. And it was Oogie Boogie, and it was the same price as the Evil Queen ornament. It was glass, it was actually fairly big, it was like that big. And I just couldn't fit it in my suitcase, so my boyfriend took it home with him. And then we also got another ornament. We have started, like when we've been traveling, we've been picking up ornaments to sort of have keepsakes. I know a lot of people do that. Um, so we picked up a special ornament for that that I don't have either, but he has it because I couldn't take it home on the plane with me. So on to some more bigger and better things. <laughs> another thing that was really cool that we got, we did the Star Wars Galactic spectacular dessert party or whatever the heck it's called. <laughs> um, we got this okay lanyard. <laughs> oh, it probably has it here. A galactic spectacular dessert party. I can't remember what I just said, but that's what it's called. Oh, there I am. Um, <laughs> and on the back, it has sort of like this map of launch bay, Star Wars launch bay. Just giving you a list of things that you could do while you're in the launch bay. You did get a special time to meet 
Kylo Ren, but for some reason our time was like super early, so by the time we had gotten there, it was like exactly when it started. Um, we had missed our time. But anyway, we got this nice little keepsake winger. I don't know if I'll do anything with it, but it's sort of nice to have it as a memory. And then along with the dessert party, we also got this do, 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 do. We got this. <laughs> we got this Darth Vader like souvenir cup. And I like, I've never had these. Like even when I was a little kid, I never had these silly souvenir cups. So like, <laughs> like for it to just open like this, like it's his head. I think it's so funny. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. We got it with our price, like it was included in our package. Um, I could also do a completely separate video. I don't want to rant on it too much about the dessert party, but this is pretty cool. <laughs> Another thing that I got that I'm super, super, super excited for is my poison apple Stein here. I have wanted this thing for so long, ever since it came out with the red one. I just, A, could never find it, B, it would never fit in my suitcase. I like am always carrying like very large items home for some reason, and it's so cool. Like it does the same thing as the, the Star Wars one, but look at this. It's so cool. It's so detailed. I love it so much. I don't know if I'm going to actually use it to like drink out of, but I just want to have it as a display piece, honestly. It's beautiful. Like, Disney, can you make more things like this to have us Halloween people be really happy? Thanks. Next, we have our big ticket item, which I know everyone is like, trying to get their hands on, especially in Disneyland because like this item just came out. It is my popcorn bucket cauldron. Guys, obviously I like Snow White and I like the Evil Queen because A, my mom. <laughs> and I keep buying all this stuff that's like Evil Queen, Snow White, Poison Apple. I really love Snow White, I love that it's a classic, but this Poison Apple is so iconic and I love that it's such a symbol. The cool thing so it has this like bubbly stuff coming out. On the back it says Happy Halloween um, Disney Parks. But let me show you something super cool. It lights up. Come on. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, we got popcorn with this. If you can pick one of these up, it's so worth it. I have Oogie Boogie from last year. I didn't pick up another Oogie Boogie from the Halloween party. Uh, he's very similar to the one from last year, but this is a new item, and I'm so happy I got it. So another thing I do every single year I go to the Halloween party is I keep the bag, and I, this bag is a little bit like messed up, but I love getting my nap and I love keeping my wristband and getting the orange bird card. Anytime you go to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, you should definitely stop by the firehouse and get your free Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom cards. I will link in another video up here where I'm opening all of my Halloween pins, but if you didn't get to see that video, I will do a quick overview of them. So I did open some of the mystery pin boxes. The first one I pulled was Hades. Hades is super awesome. I don't know if you guys could really tell how big these pins are, but they're really big. Um, the next pin that I picked up was Oogie Boogie. Ooh, ooh. That was the pin that I really wanted. I was really lucky to have gotten that one. The next one I got is this really cute Stitch one. Stitch also, like, it's hard to do this and hold it at the same time, but like, ooh. It spins and it's so cute, it's such a cool pin. Another pin that I had gotten is this mini one. She looks like a little cupcake, she's so cute. It also spins. I love the interactive spinny pins, like who doesn't love those pins? 
The last pin that I got from the Halloween party is this Halloween party pin 2018. I have been trying to hunt down all of the Halloween party pins that I have been to, so now I have my fifth one. So I have my five Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party pins. Next, I was really lucky because my boyfriend knows how much I love pins. It's a true obsession and it's really bad. But he came, I know this is in Disney, guys, so please bear with me. It is something that he gave to me while I was in Disney, so I'm counting it as something that I'm bringing home from Disney. It is these Justice League pin sets. They have these really cool backs too. We have all these really cool Justice League pins and thank you to my boyfriend for giving them to me because I love pins. Well guys, I know I didn't get to show you like everything, like my two ornaments. But thank you so much for sticking around and watching all the stuff that I got to bring home from Walt Disney World. If you guys didn't know, I'm coming out with new vlogs from my trip with my boyfriend, but then I'm also very lucky. I get to go back to Walt Disney World for my birthday, meeting on October 31st, and I am very, very excited. I cannot wait, I cannot wait to bring more stuff. Guys, is a problem, but I think us Disney people know. Thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me that you guys are liking, commenting, subscribing, being my friend. <laughs> it just means the world to me, so I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for being wonderful supporters and friends, and I hope everyone has a super magical day. Thanks so much, guys. See you real soon.